And as the sun is rising over downtown Buffalo and Niagara Square, we're getting a better look at what the protesters, but really what the vandals left behind. Daybreak's Kara Spelger joins me now live from Niagara Square this morning with more of what we're beginning to see. Good morning, Karis. Yeah, good morning, Heather. All morning, I've kind of touched on this, but we're really seeing some of it now. People have been coming out to clean up. I don't know if you can see behind me, there's some people who have begun picking up some of the plants that were ripped out of the ground earlier. And I spoke to quite a few gentlemen who were coming out earlier. They said, this is Buffalo, this is our town. We just want to help. People here said they live nearby and they just came out this morning. They began over at the courthouse before moving over to Niagara Square. And this is pretty much what we've been seeing all morning. We have seen the Department of Public Works coming out, sweeping the streets. We have seen some police also patrolling. We've also seen members of the bus Buffalo Peacemakers. They've been out rolling around, seeing what's happening. They say they're keeping an eye on things because they don't know what's going to happen next, but they want to make sure that what happened yesterday does not happen again. But, you know, Heather, we talk about Buffalo being the city of good neighbors. We're starting to see that this morning after everything that happened yesterday evening, people just coming out, wanting to clean up and kind of put the city right again. Some of the people who I spoke with say that they really just wanted to help out. They see that people are hurting, but they want to try and start anew. Back to you, Heather. Yeah, we're hoping to see more of that positive and hopefully that will outshine the negative that we saw so much of last night. Daybreak's Karis Belger reporting live this morning. Karis, thank you.